was there ever any kind of doubts with your education or did you ever kind of stress or worry or was there any coping stuff you did or even with the like the leave insert or that coming up to exams was there any kind of nerves or that kind of stuff that you ever experienced um yeah probably there was always nerves with exams but i was pretty i'd say i was pretty well supported like my school was good for having after school study on and i still lived at home and stuff obviously uh, so I was pretty well supported on that front and felt kind of prepared from, I don't know, doing the work during the year, but there would always been nerves a bit before the exam, but they kind of go away. If you've, The more and more prepared you feel, the less nerves you have, I suppose, if you're confident going into it. Oh, was that your kind of coping mechanism? It was nearly just keeping consistent in your preparedness and studying? Yeah. Uh, in secondary school, anyway, it was. I felt like I was prepared. By the time I got to the exams, I wouldn't be sitting up pulling them all neither because you kind of have two years of studying all of it so I think it's probably too late by the time you got there so I just probably switch off and go to bed early enough just look over look over the last few notes and then go to bed I wouldn't be staying up all night thinking I'll get the last bit of studying uh, and then yeah just hope for the best on exam day with the questions you wouldn't be panicking the night, the night at all like I don't think so there was a bit more of that in college if I wasn't quite as prepared because I was still finding my feet with college and you have to do a little bit more work by yourself without being told to do it so there was more of that in college but in secondary school I was fairly well structured it sounded like you had a pretty decent enough school that it was kind of there was a decent structure there for after school or studying or yourself that you were prepared but did you find then as a release or a coping mechanism sport because it was such a high level of com competitiveness you were trying to do did that tie into your kind of way of coping stuff that you could nearly if you had any anxiety with exams or studying that you could let it out on the pitch yeah they're kind of a nice uh, distraction from each other I'd say so rugby you're playing rugby you're not thinking about anything else and then that gives you a nice break from the study and then vice versa if you're sitting there thinking about rugby the whole time you probably end up playing badly because you're overthinking it so study and the rest of the crack you have in school is kind of a nice distraction from rugby I think if you're focused on just one it's probably not that conducive to doing much better in it. And did you find anything else outside of sport or education or did they take up your life? Uh, did you ever kind of feel like you nearly needed a different kind of way of coping or anxiety, managing anxiety if you had any or just coping mechanisms or any of that kind of stuff outside of it or were uh, you pretty happy out with studying and then running out of the pitch? Probably, probably in school you don't think about it as much. Uh, I never said to myself I'm going to do this to try and cope. Rugby was probably the outlet and then when rugby was over I think I played a bit of Gaelic in school so that was that was the fun part. It's not like I was doing the rugby as work, I always loved it and then so to get away to get away from the study I more just I'd set up, I'd make a plan and then once I finished the plan I was like I'm done. I wouldn't just sit there endlessly studying. Finish everything I thought I was going to study that day and then go and I don't know, do a hobby, watch a TV series, play with music or something. Did you play music? Uh, I did, only in my room though. <laughs> Didn't try to play it for anyone. Yeah. Uh, what instruments? Uh, guitar and a bit of piano as well. So you're multi-talented, so you're a doctor, a rugby player and a musician. Uh, well, the music was more of a hobby now, to be honest. I wouldn't like playing for anyone. Did your preparedness and your kind of goal to study, was that based on you knew you wanted to do medicine or was medicine more of a latter decision? Um, not not always i didn't always want to do medicine i kind of went through phases of because i i loved all the maths subjects but then i loved like chemistry and stuff as well and i also loved anything i ever read about doctors i was kind of like that might be what i'd like to do and then my grandfather was also a surgeon from galway actually uh so i kind of had that connection as well and i'd hear bits about what he did and I like that but it was never solely I want to do medicine and that's that and then as I got more into sixth year I kind of decided this might be what I want to do I had engineering was high up enough on the list as well that's pretty broad so I didn't know what part of engineering I wanted to do but so I put the two of them on the CEO and then uh, so up and probably up until the end I still wasn't sure which I definitely wanted to do but uh, I think in hindsight I'm probably happy enough with the decision to try and be a doctor. Did you find the transition between second level and third level hard or just different or did you yeah. kind of take it in your stride? Um, 
No, I probably, I found it hard. Medicine is six years and for the first probably three, I was still figuring out uh, what was actually important and how to, how to go to lectures and also do all the training and what part of college was important to kind of focus on. Whereas in school, you're so structured and you kind of, you do what you're told, you do your homework, you study the past papers and in college, it's not really as, as kind of straightforward as that and I didn't some of the stuff you obviously miss with rugby so I had to kind of get good at asking get better at asking for help and what I actually need to study so that took me a while to figure out but I had a good I had a good system by the end of it and with medicine there's probably a lot of placement hours in that too so for like the college course there would yeah. have been and did you find that part especially tricky then trying to revolve around your kind of life yes. as training? Yeah, so for the first the first four years in medicine pretty much you're in college, you're doing lectures, tutorials like everyone else and then after that you can start doing placement in hospitals, it's pretty much all placement with a few lectures. Uh, so then I had to I had to go part time to finish that because I was starting to play for the senior team in Leinster then as, at that time so I just wouldn't have been able to make it and then people like the our teachers and doctors teaching would be thinking that you didn't really care so when I did it part time I was able to do enough of it after training every day and do it on my days off and still get everything covered so that was uh, that was a little bit tricky to figure out at the start but then when people realise that you actually you actually want to be there and you actually want to learn you just have something else going on most people were pretty receptive to that and in hindsight looking back from second level and going, from secondary school and going into college then did you kind of would you have changed much in that process or did you learn a lot or do you have any regrets in how you kind of carried yourself through both yeah. levels of education um in secondary school uh it was probably it was pretty well laid out for me what i needed to do on the school the school after school study my parents uh, my family was all, I had a pretty good support network, as in I wouldn't be going home from training and playing PlayStation all day, I'd probably get a kick up the hall if I did that. So uh, no, I was pretty well probably supported in school to do as well as I could do. Uh, so I don't think I'd take any of that back, but I still like loved playing rugby and got to, it's not like I had to miss out on rugby to kind of do more study or anything. There was plenty of time in the day. and. And then in secondary or in college, uh, college the first few years, I was probably probably like everyone when they go into first year college, it's all great crack, and you're kind of wanting to do everything that college life has to offer. But then probably the academics probably takes a little bit of a backseat, so I might might be a little bit more prepared going into those first few years of exams as opposed to some panic studying, but. Uh, no, I wouldn't take too much back. Relatively happy. Yeah, relatively. Did you graduate recently from the medicine or? Yeah, I, I was actually, I graduated about two years ago now. And have you gone on to do kind of further studying to keep yourself in the loop while uh, you're playing or? Not, not a whole lot yet. I've done, I've done some, I'm trying to do some kind of research and kind of stuff with other doctors to try and kind of keep my CV ticking over and keep my brain working but uh, when I finished initially and graduated I didn't I didn't want to do anything I wanted a break I was getting a little bit fed up of studying and trying to manage the boat yeah uh, but now I'm a little bit more I think ready to go back and even do small stuff like with uh, trying to do some research or stuff that'll kind of make me a little bit more ready to go and work as a doctor anything in particular in research or is it like would you be curious on one side of medicine or is it whatever you kind of read upon made um, you think, yeah, I might do a bit of research on that. Probably, probably curious on a lot of sides of it, so picking one is the hard bit, but uh, I'm doing one uh, on altitude training at the moment. I just, the, the professor I linked up with, that's his area of expertise, so he said, do you want to do this? And I said, yep, absolutely. So we'll see how that one goes. And you're finding that okay, like, as opposed to taking that break, you're kind of nearly kind of refreshed on a way to go kind of go back yeah, and start yeah. tipping away I think if you have too much free time uh, I, don't, I don't think it suits me that well maybe I've been institutionalised a bit into needing to do something but uh, 
think too much free time, too much time to think about rugby, you, it's actually nice to have a distraction outside of it. And then, so I suppose for like the leaving third and juniors only coming up in a couple of months, like would you have any kind of wisdom or advice or for someone that might be of your kind of stance when you were that age, kind of you're well prepared or even for people that might might not have opened a book yet properly, like have you any kind of wisdom or any kind of guidance from I suppose your hindsight and what you've done to kind of uh, help someone out? Yeah, just um, even if you've done nothing till now, just make a plan, just write out what you're going to do for the week or what you're going to do every day whether I still do this for studying just like an hour on this topic an hour on that topic and just take it off and then suddenly you've done 10 hours without even realizing and it's it works out pretty fine and there's there's loads of time in the day as well